Good morning, everyone. I am your teacher for today. My name is Christian B. P. Mabini, or you can call me Teacher May. In the last video lesson, you learned about routine and non-routine word problems involving multiplication. Now, in this video lesson, we will learn all about dividing three to four digit numbers by one to two digit number without and with remainder. And our objective for today is that at the end of the lesson, you should be able to divide three to four digit numbers by one to two digit number without and with remainder. Now, in dividing numbers, we need to remember these important parts. First, we have the dividend. Secondly, we have the divisor. Next, we have the quotient. And lastly, we have the remainder. Now, these are the symbols used in division. We have this one and this one. Now, let's find the quotient of the following. We have here number 1. So, 840 divided by 2. Now, to divide numbers, first, we have to look at the dividend. In the dividend, you have to find the highest digit. If you have here 840, it means the highest digit is 8. Now, let's start dividing. So, we have 8 divided by 2 is equal to, very good, that is 4. The next step is to multiply the quotient by the divisor. So, we have 4 times 2. So, we have 8. The next step is to find the difference between 8 and 8. So, we have 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. Since we have the difference of 0, the next step is to bring down the next digit. We have here 4. After that one, we will divide again. So, we have here 4 divided by 2 is equal to very good. Again, what is the next step? We have to multiply the quotient by its divisor. So, we have here 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Next is to subtract. So, we have here 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. If our difference is 0, the next thing to do is to bring down the next digit. So, we have here Now, 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0. After dividing, again, multiply the quotient by the divisor. So, we have 0 times 2 is equal to 0. Next step is to find the difference. Therefore, we have to subtract. So, we have 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. So we can see here the difference is zero, therefore we have a remainder of zero. So the answer is 420. So we have here problem number two. 6,453 divided by 30. Again, to divide numbers, first you have to look at the dividend and find the highest digit. If you have here 6,453, the highest digit is 6. Now, let's try dividing it. We have here 6 divided by 30. Is it possible? You're right. It's impossible. Since it is impossible to divide 6 by 30, we have to move to the next digit. So, we have now 64 divided by 30 is equal to 2. Again, what is the next step? You're right. It is to multiply the quotient by its divisor. So we have here 2 times 30 is equal to right, 60. Again, what is the next? That is to subtract. So we have here 64 minus 60 is equal to 4. Since if we divide 4 by 30, it's impossible that so the next thing you do is to Bring down the next digit, which is 5. So we have now 45 
Now, is it possible to divide 45 by 30? Very good. We can now divide 45 by 30. Now, what is the answer? If we have 45 divided by 30, we have, very good, that is 1. Again, what is the next step? We have to multiply the quotient by its divisor. So, we have 1 times 30 is equal to 30. Again, find the difference. So, we have here 45 minus 30 is equal to 15. Again, if we divide 15 by 30, it's impossible. If it's impossible, then we have to bring down the next digit. We have 3. Now, it's 153 divided by 30 is equal to 5. Again, what is the next step? You're right. Excellent, children. So, we have now 5 times 30 is equal to 150. Again, we have to find the difference. So, we have 153 minus 150 is equal to 3. Therefore, our remainder is 3. Therefore, the answer is 215 remainder 3. Let's have problem number 3. The municipal mayor received the donation of 7,896 kilograms of rice distributed equally to 7 barangays affected by Typhoon Ambo. How many kilograms of rice did each barangay receive? Now, in our problem, we have 7,896 kilograms of rice distributed equally. When we say distributed equally, it means that we are going to, very good, that is to divide two seven barangays. Now, in our problem, what do you think is the divisor? We have seven. If seven is our divisor, then what is 7,896? You're right, it is the dividend. Now, in our solution, we have here 7,896 divided by 7. So, we are going to divide first the 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1. 1 times 7 is equal to 7. 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. Since we have a difference of 0, we have to bring down the next digit. So we have 8. Next, we have 8 divided by 7 is equal to 1. 1 times 7 is equal to, very good, that is 7. Next step, again, is to subtract. 8 minus 7 is equal to 1. Since we cannot divide 1 by 7, we have to bring down the next digit. So we have here 9. 19 divided by 7 is equal to 2. Next, multiply 2 times 7 is equal to 14. Again, find the difference. We have here 19 minus 14 is equal to 5. Since we cannot divide 5 by 7, so we have to bring down the next digit. So we have here 6. So we have here 56 divided by 7 is equal to 8. Next, multiply. We have 8 times 7 is equal to 56. Now find the difference. 56 minus 56 is equal to 0. Since our remainder is 0, therefore our answer is... 1,128. Therefore, each barangay received 1,128 kilograms of rice. That's all for today. I hope you learned something. This is Teacher May. God bless and goodbye!